Hello guys, in this video we will learn together more about many to many relationship from zero to advanced level. Here I have two models, post and tag models, right? And here is my data inside tags. I have 20 tags here and for posts I have 10 posts. So first of all, what actually many to many relationship mean? It means may one tag belongs to multiple posts and may multiple posts belongs to multiple tags. Let me explain to you. So first of all, imagine I want to assign this tag to a post, right? Back to structure and uh, we may decide it may be one to many relationship. So I will add here post ID, right? It will be integer, integer here. Yeah, and save, all right? Back to my table refresh here our post id i want to assign this tag to the first post right but what if i want to assign the same tag here to another post here's what does many to many mean it's not possible using has many relationship so let's again remove this column and to create the many to many relationship first of all we need to go to our models here in my post models and function tags here and return this belongs to many function this function here and define our tag or our model we want to relate class right and the same thing here for our tag models but in this case we will relate to posts right return the same thing this belongs to many and post class if you notice here the second parameter is table so to create a many to many relationship between two tables we need to create a third table for them right automatically in laravel to create the many to many relationship table you must follow the order of letters so in our case we have two models post and tag here our p before t right so let's create our table hyphen hyphen c back to our migrations here's our post tag and the first table or the first column will be for an ID for post ID and second one will be for tags tag ID all right now let's migrate it and it's migrated back to our table here is our post tag table right this one here it's empty and back to our controller here let's add semicolon here here is our post controller because we have already some posts and some tags i want to attach some tags to a post i created this endpoint here many to many let's rename it add tags to post and i want to add tags id one two three these tags here in my text table these three tags to the first post and now to attach data or these tags to a post we can use attach method but first of all i want to inject request here request and let's die and dump our request and here is our text as array so we can use post tags our relation and attach here it may attach one or multiple parameters or tags so we can use request tags delete it and return attached right here is our post tag table is empty and now try and attach back to our table again refresh and here is our post id number one has tag number one and also the same post has another tag here and has three tags if you notice here 
we have created at and updated at timestamps but it's not created automatically so to make them filled automatically we can go to our model here inside post and use method with timestamps right now let's try again attached refresh and now it's filled if you notice here the data is duplicated right or repeated so here this post have these tags and the same post also have the same tags to avoid duplication in many to many relationship instead of attaching method here you can use sync all right and now refresh back again our table has extra data by the way this sync method is adding the attribute which contains and remove other data so here for example if I added only the first tag refresh and it's synced by deleting other data except this because it's one also and now refresh and as you see only tag ID one has been inserted or synced let's add one two it means add only these two IDs and remove others so refresh refresh again so if I try to add three for example it will add three only sync three only and remove other tags refresh first send a request refresh and as you see here what if you want to sync without deleting data we can use method sync without detaching as you see here right so it means if it exists keep it if not exist attach it without duplication or removing others so three four five refresh three four five just send three only no effects no deletion if we try it with only sync send again refresh and here is the difference between sync and sync without detaching back here send without detaching and three four five what if we duplicate five also send refresh we have no duplication right what if you want to delete a value from here you can use detach method so here detach and you can delete one or more id back again and i want to remove the id3 here send request back to our database refresh and 3 will be deleted as you see here now let's fetch a post with its text right here i prepared this endpoint and in our controller i will return here post load text relationship back to our postman refresh and here is our post our tags here as you see tags here right and if you notice here this pivot pivot represents the data inside our pivot table here post tag right so you may insert or store extra data inside this table and it will come under pivot if you don't like this pivot word no problem you can change it from here using as method and enter any name you want post text refresh here instead of pivot we received post text here right and we have multiple so each post tags represents the id of that tag as you see here another for tag id 5 sometimes you may need to add extra data to this post tags table for example i want to add a new column called added by to represent the user who added these tags so first of all let's truncate our data here right and add our column called added by added 
by and unsaid integer here not nullable and save back to our data here is our new column let's move it here right now let's try again to create tags and we will face this error here it must be fillable added by but how can we fill it as you see here we send three values or three tags let's simplify it and send one right back to our code and it must be like that so here tags in a pivot here our tag id and it must be array column name here and value so back in our case our tag id here is one right and our column name is added by here and for example let's set it to one or two set it also for sync tags here refresh attached back to our table and here added by user two let's make it dynamic so here one two three and here our for each for each let's find a new embed tags right and for each request tags because these are arrays as tag here right here tags push array or tag id here right this represents tag id tag id and our added by column will be at for example current authenticated is 2 or we can use os id to make it dynamic okay now let's die and dump our tags back and refresh and here is our result tag id number one added by null because we have no authenticated user let's authenticate quickly auth login using id number three for example refresh and here is our data tag id one this one tag two tag three here and added by user id three let's change for example five and here is the result change so let's remove dd save back to our data and it works five two three but if we back here to our list endpoint this one and the send requests are here we can't see our added by attribute here this column right we can see it in the response and to show it you can go simply here to our post model and we can add with pivot and you can add any columns you want added by as a string added by back again refresh and here our added by attribute i hope you found it helpful for you Support me by clicking on like, share and subscribe. See you in next video.